Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, folks, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're just going to go right under newsletters, and you're going to see the opening call on the top right-hand side. You can hit the view of the opening call. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month, for six months, and for a year. One month is $128. Six months is $595, which is a savings of $173, or 22%. One year is $995, which is a savings of $541, or 35%. And that being said, folks, what we do have happening right now, you get a savings on top of this, is that we have our Tiger Dollar, Tiger, Tiger Dollar sale going on, which gets you a bonus of... 10, uh, no, 20, 30, and 40 percent. Yeah, they're double bonuses uh, in this particular sale, which uh, bottom line, we only do, well, we do it a couple times a year. We only do the 40 percent once a year. Uh, very easy to do. If you buy 500 Tiger Dollars, you get 600. If you buy 1,000, you're going to get 1,300 or $300 extra. You buy 1,500, you're going to get $600 extra. You can check that out right in the front page of TFNN. That is only good. Uh, that's just that promotion, folks is over this coming Sunday, which happens to be the 22nd of December, which is hard to comprehend. Hmm. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good, man. I heard you got a little freezing rain up there, huh? You know, we can't complain. It's unpleasant, and I don't like the ice because I have this uh, rather sharp slope for the driveway. Yeah. Um, but, hey, it's been okay so far. Can't complain. That's right. So, I'm looking at your Dow charts here, Basil. Yes. Talk to me. So, I, a couple of things. And I thought I, I'd talk a little bit about what I do for my subscribers to okay. my opening call. So, um, I always do a chart with a Dow. Let me see if I can get that right here. So, every day I show the chart of the Dow. I show the, um, let me see, I think I've got one right here. Dow, there it is. That's it. Okay, so let me bring this across. So this is what I show every single day, and I'm using my my methodology so that it's actually a learning experience. And I talk about all the different techniques. In other words, I'm using these different moving averages. The other day, that was on the that I thought that we had really nailed the top uh, this last time. Twenty eight thousand one forty six was the high on the twenty seventh. That the opening two days later, we got short right away, and we just crashing down. Went down to twenty seven. 1,325, and I thought, wow, that, that was good, and I was waiting. Remember, we're talking about this nine-period moving average uh, that I yes. talk about, this green line, waiting for it to cross the black line, the 14 to become pink, and that's a negative sign. It went right to that door, and on the very next day, boom, it, it, it moves higher. So it's really it's a wonderful technique. Unfortunately, it took us out of our, our short position very quickly, and uh, now we're actually in, in uh, an upward motion in a buy mode in the Dow on the daily. So these are the techniques, and every day I say exactly what to look for, and I say today if the Dow is minus 30s or more after 2 p.m. Eastern time, expect a brief bout of weakness, but if it's over 20, uh, there could be a slightly positive close, and yeah, we are 57, so I give guidelines every day. You know, I talk about the different uh, patterns that we are uh, focusing on. Uh, I talk about the Chapman wave, which is really an identifying a low bar and then counting each successively higher peak until you get to the fourth highest peak. They alphabetize uh, in sequence peak A, then the next is peak B, next peak higher is C, next peak higher is D. You can go all the way to E, F, and G. But it's at D that other things can happen. I'll show you in a few minutes how things, how this D is so potent. But I also talk about three chart formations, straight, straight line that's either down or up, the arch formation or the cup formation. And then you can get a mix where it's a lowercase h where it's got the down move with an arch. And if it takes out that left side low, you can go quite a bit lower. And on the right here is the reverse, the green, the y, a reverse y pattern. If you take out the left side high, you can go higher. So the core of the methodology is really quite simple, but I've also added other techniques. So within that context, we're in leg B right now. 
in the down. So should we should go at least to a peak D before we start to become cautious. But you can see the weekly chart is in leg C and the MACD and stochastic are still very strong. And the monthly chart is in leg D. So we're watching that one closely. So in the in, I like to get if it's if it's opportune, I like to get into positions that have a kind of a a market trend to them. So when we got a year ago, when we got into Bank of America, uh, we we're still in that position. We also have had trades in uh, Bank of America for about 15 and 20 percent gains. But this one here is, uh, let me just say, I think it's up to, it's 42 percent gain from last December. Nice. And yeah, it's very nice. And not only that, we were following it using the methodology. So you can see we're still only in leg C in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly at an all-time high. This is a bank stock and everyone was really talking negatively about banks for so long. I thought, no, if the market is doing well, we should see banks rallying and so far. Bank of America has done very nicely. And I talk about patterns, the consolidation sideways pattern. We've broken out of that. You can see there's a cup formation. I just talked about the cup formation, how you can break out above it. He has the MACD, which is very strong on the daily chart. In the weekly chart, it just went from negative to positive in the daily. So these are all things that really help my subscribers in their own choosing of stocks, et cetera, um, what they can do. Then we have, I have uh, low, low price stocks as well. We are, we, we're looking for percentage gains. Uh, so far we've got, let me just check, it's about a 25% gain we've got in BDSI, which is right here. You'll see it's called Bio Delivery Systems, uh, Bio Delivery Sciences, I'm sorry, Bio Erodible mucoadhesive technology. So it has a, a biotech aspect to it. And it's made this cup formation. That's what we were talking about. There was a left side, right side price time match. And we've taken that. The high that I was looking at was 640. We took that out. And the next high is this high right here, which is $7.04. And we've gotten real close. We went to $7.01. Uh, another stock that we in the area of cyber security, which I think uh, really it's in the marketplace itself. It oh, should yeah. be That's a big deal. A big winner. Right. Yeah. It's a big it is a big deal because every every company every person you have to have cyber security otherwise you're vulnerable to to anything in fact look, look how many cities and towns have been under duress because oh, yeah. they've been black, blackmailed because of their yeah. their whole system has been taken shut over shut it right down bang right. yeah and and no but it's the and then they have to come up with the half a million or a million bucks right. which is just gone right. i mean here you are you know you're trying to get a, a city to run and you Vulnerable. Anyway, so CyberArk is doing very nicely. I don't, I'm not sure if this is the move that takes it back to 148.74, the all-time high. But we got in at 104, and it traded up to 126.79. It's trading right now at 123.17. And the weekly chart is still looking good. Could be coming under a little pressure, but that's how we discuss. I discussed taking something off. We try to put back. So we all, we, we're looking at core positions and trying to add, and we're trying to get into positions for this coming year so that we've already started to, to identify what could be working. Remember the other day I spoke to you about TRCCI, that's the Thomson Reuters Commodity Index? Yes, yes. Look, at, look how nicely this is done. This is the commodities, the Fed wants, Fed wants inflation. I think they're in for a surprise coming the next quarter. Good, there it I is. like it. Come on over to our website, folks, at TFNN. You're going to see the opening. Go into the newsletters. You'll see the opening call right on the right-hand side. Hit that button. 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Everything to gain, nothing to lose. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much.